Welcome back to Blast Guys Reviews. The one thing in life is there's nothing more powerful than a bond of a father and his son. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at two SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z action figures. And these look fantastic. These are SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Vegeta Awakened Super Saiyan Blood. And his son, Super Saiyan Trunks, Infinite Latent Power. These look fantastic. Here are the packages they come in. I love how they match. I mean, if you just, you know, you card a collector, a box collector, mint in a package collector, these are pretty nice together. Even if you take them out, your, your figures out of packaging and you use them and play with them, whatever, display them, they're going to look just as badass as them in the packaging. So here's a look at Vegeta's packaging. It looks fantastic. You see Vegeta, the accessories it comes with, all the information there on the front. There's a back of the packaging, some, some product images, some posing that you can get out of the figure. It looks fantastic with the articulation. Top of the box, bottom of the box, side of the box, and there's the other side of the box. And here's trunks. Looks just as great. Pretty much the same information besides you know the product title and the character. There's the back of the box, top of the box, bottom of the box, side of the box, and the other side of the box. You can see how well these are pretty much unison from uh, both boxes. And here's our father and son outside the packagings. They look fantastic. The figures feel great. Um, I don't know, it kind of gives you like this optical illusion. It looks like the same buck being used, except for a different head sculpt. But I think Trunks is taller and like thinner in the legs. His legs are longer because his waist sits a little higher. So they, they're not the same parts, mostly. Let's start off by taking a look at each of the figures, especially the head sculpts look fantastic. We have Super Saiyan Vegeta. I absolutely love the face sculpt on that. The eyes look fantastic. The hair has multicolor yellows with some gold throughout there. That looks pretty awesome. But just the sculpting alone is pretty nice. Uh, quite stiff, so there's nothing to worry about like uh, not being shaped the way it should be. Pretty solid for the most part. Do you have the vest? The off-white with the light brown, the white gloves, pretty much a blue bodysuit. Then we have his feet, his boots, iconic boots. It's the back of his vest. They feel like good solid figures. They don't feel like they're very cheap or anything. Um, here's Trunks. Man, he looks fantastic. Look at the hair just drooping down in front of his face. The head sculpt looks fantastic. The eyes, the facial expression, the line work. They're very nice. We have his ponytail with a tie there in the back. Um, this is pretty much something that's probably flexible, not too flexible, but I mean, that may, may be prone to breaking if you bend it too far. The rest of these are pretty well solid. Pretty much the same uh, color and aesthetics as his father, with the off white and brown, same boots. Pretty cool. So we'll do a comparison. Here's we see him up front. Um, he does feel a little taller than uh, his father, obviously. But this is just an optical vision to me. Looks pretty good though. I right, to so do side by side articulation of father and son. Here we have an up and down motion for Vegeta. Pretty nice. Side to side, really good. Rotation, obviously, on a ball joint, 360. There's some neck articulation there, but you can see it kind of moves with the head. You have the forward and backwards there. That looks pretty nice. Now for trunks, we do have the rotation 360. Just got to watch the ponytail. Up and down. We have the side to sides. In and out just a little bit, and then the neck also. 
The arms are pretty much on a ball joint to rotate 360. For a T pose, you can get about that far. Looking pretty awesome. Then there is a bicep swivel here, 360, a double jointed elbow, which is fantastic for the amazing poses we're going to get out of this figure. Wrists have articulation, 360 way around, in and out, up and down, pretty much the same all the way around for trunks. Vegeta, I think he has a little bit bigger shoulders there. Obviously, they rotate 360. His kind of have like a, we'll take a look at trunks, but we have like the in and out. They're almost like a uh, butterfly joint. Kind of comes down a little bit. I have to recheck trunks on that and bicep swivel. These are definitely different arms. Pretty cool. Same articulation in the elbow, double jointed elbows. May wrist rotate up and down, in and out, all the way around. Pretty cool. We have a pose down, father and son. And then let's see here. Oh, he does have the butterfly joints also. It's nicely hidden under the strap, so kind of easy to miss. Then we have the chest articulation. Like a nap crunch. Then you back too far, and you get a little bit of gappage there. Side to side motion. And it really opens that up though on trunks. So you can, oh, you can kind of like lift it up and then push it down and it hides the gappage. But you kind of got to pick it up to, to really get that deep crunch. If you push down, kind of gets a little less of a uh, ab crunch there. So Vegeta, yep, they have the upward motion for the chest. Just gives you that back and forth rotation side to side also. And then we have the rotation of the waist, which is a pretty good, nice. You pretty much get any poses out of these guys that you could possibly want. That looks fantastic. We have Tron's coming in hot. We have rotation here at the waist for the legs. Um, the straight out as the in front forward here. And they kind of have these pieces here to catch the hips, get you there. Um, they have that thigh swivel, we're going to call it. It'll probably give you better rotation if you want you uh, started messing with the, all the articulation. Can he sit? For the most part. Just got to turn those hips around a little bit. Straighten up the feet. You get a pre pretty good sitting position. Then we have the double jointed knees. Pretty nice. No boot rotation. Feet all the way around, up and down, side to side. Pretty decent. Um, kind of expected more out of the hips here. With the uh, with all that going on, all those layers. I thought more would come out of that. And you can see that he has a toe articulation up. Pretty decent figure. I really like these. All right, so for Gia's lower levels, uh, I got him twisted here. I did check the rotation. We have the, doesn't have that huge cut. I don't know, maybe it does. Kind of looked a little different. He's a second optical illusion with these guys. Bicep, bicep. Uh, thigh cut. We have the double joint knees. And we have the feet to pivot up and down, side to side. Can he sit? Once we rotate the legs just a little bit. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good that way. Awesome. Then we have the uh, feet that do the same thing as trunks. Up and down. Side to side. Toe articulation. Up. Looks pretty good. A little bit of a uh, printer on the bottom of his feet. Now for trunks, we have some of his accessories here. He has these two like gripping hand claw type um sculpted hands you know kind of like this like you know nice pose ability for these figures um he has some open two open hands for his uh same power you guys have any special effects that look out very nice with that he comes with two face sculpts we have this one we have this one 
pretty decent. It's more his screaming face. It's cool. And then he comes with these folded arms. It looks like maybe you have to pop off with the bicep, maybe? Kind of hollow out there, which is not good, but maybe it'll be hidden against his chest. So we won't really care because we won't be able to see it. So yeah, you have to actually pull off the arms just above the bicep like that and leave the shoulders. And then you can plug into the folded arms like so. That's pretty good. And there he is, looking fantastic. He's got a, you know, a badass stern feeling like he, you know, he just accomplished something or he's, Vegeta just grounded him for something because he's looking upon him from behind. But it looks pretty awesome. Now to change his face, you're going to have to remove this piece of hair here. On the front, it's just pigged in his forehead like that. You can get this face sculpted off like this. Pretty simple, right? So we'll give him more of a sterner look, I guess, if that's possible, from the other one. Um, let's see here. Hard to see through the camera. That's how you do that. So I'm going to put that on. And there's that alternate face. Looks pretty good. I was trying to put his face into his forehead, so that's where I was screwing up on these guys. It's uh, hard to see through the camera. Like I said, I was trying to put his face up here for some reason. So if we pop this one off, and we get the one with the mouth open, you're going to want to hit the two bottom holes, the two pegs. It makes it a lot easier when you're actually uh, paying attention. You're not looking through a camera. I'm trying to do a feel, but there he is with a screaming head. Obviously, it looks fantastic. Now we have Vegeta. He does come with just a few more accessories than his son Trunks. So let's go and take a look at that. But we'll start out with the hands. He has more hands than Trunks. Uh, so trying to see what they got going on here. So they have these two, like these hands we've seen from Trunks. He does have the same hands there. Um, he has a couple open hands. I think they're kind of, I don't know, they might be the same. I feel like the fingers are back more on these ones. Pretty cool. Then he has this one here. Kind of like a gun hand. And it's just more like an open. He was holding something. Pretty cool. Comes with those, uh, oh, here's a thumbs up type hand. Pretty cool. Comes with the same arms as trunks. We already went through that, so you know how those work. Uh, the head is actually built different than um, trunks. Instead of like having to pull his hair off, you're just taking off like a front face, face uh, plate with some hair here. So here's the first one. Here's just two pegs. Like so. And his smirky face. Pretty awesome. And then once you remove the face, you can see the inside here, the pegs are pretty much up in his hair. So if we go ahead and attach one of the alternate heads here. You can see how that goes. If I can hold on to it. it kind of just pops right on. So it's kind of irritating because you're trying to push in on it. You kind of hit all these little points and actually pinch your fingers a little bit. But I guess that's the, uh, you know, the cost of being like a collector, I guess. Because some of the more hammer stuff kind of does that too. Kind of pricks you a little bit. That's pretty awesome. And here's that smirky look. You can see a little smirk on his face there. He gives that smirk to Goku. Pretty nice. Very well done. And here he's with his folded arms. Applied. You gotta kind of make sure you get this at a certain angle, get that to close. Um, I'd be very careful with the pegs. That could be a breaking area if you're, not, if you're too much force on it. But that's pretty awesome for display purposes. And they are father and son, two bosses, waiting to take down Earth's worst enemies. 
Now, either way, you display them with the folded arms, without the folded arms. And awesome display uh, posing with your, your special effects. These are going to be fantastic. So these run about 35 bucks. Uh, found both these at Walmart. Um, so that's what you should be paying for them, which you're going to be getting scalped. You guys are probably wondering also how they scale. So let me grab a couple of figures here from popular lines. Here we have Mutt and Junkyard from the G.I. Joe Classified line. You can see they're just, uh, you know, tall. They're about five something inches tall with their hair like, pretty much about six inches on top of Gia's hair. But, you know, I'm, you probably can get away with using them with your G.I. Joe Classifieds if you wanted to somehow do a team up or something like that because they are from another planet. They could be smaller. Saying they're smaller, maybe. I don't know. But let's see how they compare to a Marvel Legends. Here we have Marvel Legends Iron Man, how they compare. And there's a 118 scale figure from Joy Toy. So that's kind of kind of between your six inch, four inch figures, but still pretty nice. Alright, there they are. It looks fantastic. Some final thoughts on these. Um, like I said, uh $35 for price. Um they feel pretty good. You get Decent amount of accessories for the $35 or more. Nice articulation. Um, thought the range would have been a little bit better on the legs, but they're not there. Um, when you're switching out the arms, best advice I can have, be careful with those little pigs. This could break off, so be very gentle. Maybe even heat them up a little bit. Um, and putting them back on, on the ball of the shoulder, there's actually, uh, the bicep actually sits up in. There's a lip there, so you got to make sure you get up in between the ball that the ball of the uh, top of their arm to get that properly seat. Um, the only other thing that really kind of irritates a little bit is the the uh, ankles seem to be a little bit of wonky. They're not loose or anything, or just uh, super articulated, so they want to move around a little bit. So standing them can be a little bit of a challenge. But other than that, I do highly recommend these. These are fantastic figures. I think uh, you're highly to join them, just if you're a Dragon Ball um, Z fan. Or any Dragon Ball genre, I should say. Um, even if you're just into martial arts, these are some really nice figures to uh, play with and have some fun. So, uh, hope you guys like this review. Just look at Father and Son, Vegeta, and Trunks. If you do, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you in our next review.